What are your thoughts on dating in 2020? Horrible. Why do you say horrible? Okay, now this is getting a little... This, this is great. This is a okay. great topic to This is a very controversial, and I don't want people to hate me for this, so I don't really like talking about stuff like this, but I'll totally talk about stuff like this. Here we go. Point the camera real way. Men like and women, we are at a divide here. We are at a divide, okay? All right, keep going. Keep going. We are transferring from this... This um, I'm curious to see where you're going with this. Brutally Christian, Republican uh, America and world that we have with the suppression of women. I mean, women couldn't vote, all that type of stuff. We all know that shit. Okay. Uh, and the, the woman's place in a household and, you know, thinking like, oh, women don't want to have sex and all that stuff. They're not sexual. But then you have the elusive porn stars. And it's like, for me, it's just the big contrast is crazy between men and women these days. It's not like it was. It's like, Back in the day, I guess women were supposed to be suppressed and guys were supposed to be the man in the house or whatever. But it wasn't agreeable and women stuck in relationships because they had to. Now women don't have to. That's why there's so many divorces, so much conflict. Women are standing up for ourselves. Like there's this line of feminism going on and all that stuff. You know, I, as long as you stand up for yourself and you can meet a guy that has an eye to eye view with you, but a woman and a man don't have an eye to eye view. You have a dick, I have a pussy. We have different, we have different emotions, the testosterone in your body versus the estrogen in my body. So you, so women, obviously, it, obviously you understand that, okay, obviously you understand that men and women are very different. Very different. Right. And so, I don't like so it. here's the thing that I think the problem is. I think that women have been lied to, but probably not in the way you think. Okay. Uh, one of the, I think one of the main reasons that there is such a, and I I would agree with your conclu uh, I don't agree with your diagnosis I would agree with the conclusion that men and women are very at log they're very uh, they're butting heads these days yeah. there's all of that we're meant to be complementary we're not meant to be yeah. we're not meant to be like battling each other men and women are made to be complementary to one another right? exactly but, I cannot but, find but anyone to compliment me but we're but we're fundamentally different which you just agreed to right yes which means yes. that we like and we 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 want different things right yeah and i think what the problem is is that women have been taught over the last shit at least the last 50 years to be men they've been taught to be the same they've been taught like you need to to be a strong independent woman you need to go out there and earn your money and and fuck this guy at home like he doesn't he doesn't have to provide for you he doesn't have to look after you you yeah. need to make your own bag you need to do this you need to yeah. do that don't have kids do this you know like yeah. and i think that's like and 50 years later where are we now like everyone's not very people aren't really happy yeah relationships like you said divorces are happening left right and center yeah so that means we've done something wrong something definitely something I, I, fucked up that's why i think personally and from a personal perspective like the household i grew up in and the type of father that i have i have a very conservative father and i'm not very conservative at all you don't say no not at all not at all you don't extremely say. liberal does, does porn smokes weed yep I'm, I'm totally LGBTQ family. We'll, we'll get, pooped, like, on, we'll get pooped on our chest for money. Yes, exactly. Like, yeah, you know, like, I'm completely opposite. I just, like, just watching, like, how crazy my childhood was and having a, you know, all that stuff. I was just like, I don't think I want to date. And then I was like, okay, you know, I'm in love with the idea of love. So I, I dated and I dated this one guy in high school, which was four years ago now. Um, and he completely just ruined my ideals of love and mm. all that stuff. And that's when I Why? went. Why? Why? Uh, it was abusive. Um, in what in what way? Like physically, physically and men physically, mentally. Physically yeah, abusive. Mm -hmm. no, that's fucked up. Physically and mentally. So I was just like, you know, I can't do this anymore. Um, so you, you know, yeah. I'm gonna say something kind of controversial here. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, which uh, don't take it the wrong way. No, go ahead. But I think that a lot of women, because I hear I hear st stories like this a lot. Mm -hmm. I hear stories of this like, okay, I, I was in a really shitty relationship. The guy was abusive in this way or this way. Mm -hmm. I think that women are actually pretty bad at selecting partners okay like no to, you're to, not wrong at all like for for, for relationships I no i 100 percent agree i've got they have, and i think and i think maybe that's because they haven't been told or taught taught mm -hmm. how to vet for a partner i 100 percent agree right and i think men are the same too men and don't get me wrong men, men make the same men make the exact same mistakes men yeah. get into bad relationships so they end up getting married they get fucked over in divorce courts they get fucked over in, in yes. uh, um child support stuff like this and because i'm super big into psychology i think it's a super big issue of our parents traumas coming down onto us making it harder for us between the stress of ourselves our relationship with the world and just trying to be a human being and connect with other people it's hard 
because you were dealing with the trauma from your parents that they put onto you and then you're trying to have a relationship with a whole another fucking person and then you then you bring out your traumas you know what i mean yeah, my parents There's a lot of that. my parents didn't give me trauma my parents gave me they a lot gave, they just gave me a roof over my head and food in my belly god i love them to death <laughs> yeah but that's that's like yeah like i said i agree with the, the conclusion yeah I just think it's from a different. I I I believe the the reason for that, the reason that we're at loggerheads, is different from the reason you think it is. Mm-hmm. That's fine. We're allowed to disagree. That's okay. And we're allowed to disagree. That's okay. And that's a beautiful thing. It is. Look at that, guys. Look, see, this is this is called a civil dis. Like, and this is a civil discourse. Exactly. See, we're man and woman. We have different like, opinions. Have different and that's ab- okay. We obviously have different perspectives, and we've obviously got um, obviously got different experiences. But and that's what <laughs> makes you who you are is the experiences you've been through. That's right. You know. Uh, but yeah, I I really think that because look, if people talk about where we're at now, like, and people talk about um, yeah, like divorce rates are up, men and women are, are at loggerheads, yeah, and they they sort of they try to point the finger at like, oh, we're in this very conservative republic. Like, I mean, forget the Republican thing, but we'll say we're we're in a we're in a patriarchy, we're in a conservative patriarchy, or whatever, right? We're more we're less of one now than we were. 50, 100 years ago. Correct, yes. Like back in, say, like, say, like, around World War One, World mm-hmm. War Two, right? Yeah, 40s. You'd, you'd, I would, it'd be, I don't think you could argue that it was less conservative mm. than it is now. Like, we're obviously more, uh, sorry, we're obviously then, then, in like, say, World War One, obviously was more of a more traditional conservative society than it is now, right? Mm-hmm. But the, we didn't have the divorce rates, we didn't have all this sort of stuff going on. Because it was like uh, this thing called The Family. There's actually a documentary yeah, the nu- on Netflix. the Nuclear Family. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. I learned family. about that one. Yeah, in, uh... yeah. And that's what, that's what I think is, like, I think a lot of people just want to have, uh, like, we've been sold, especially in America, we get sold this idea, this sort of celebrity lifestyle. Mm-hmm. People get sold this glitz and glamour and you, here's, here's what will make you happy. Like, being on a billion dollar yacht and driving a fast car and and you know living shopping on Rodeo Drive yeah. and and being an Instagram s- famous or being a YouTube celebrity, all this stuff is going to make you happy. No, it doesn't. And it it fundamentally it fundamentally what actually makes people happy is really basic, simple shit. Yeah, it's cl- like close friends and connections, and like a, a strong family bonds. Always like a, like not everyone can have that. Obviously, yeah. not everyone gets that, but. Everyone that I know that has strong family bonds is very happy, mm-hmm. right? So it does make it does lead to a happier life, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think another reason why I don't like the dating market these days is also myself. Like, like I said, personal traumas, you know. So do you find it? Uh, yeah, let's get back onto that. Yeah, yeah. I was going to wrap up. This is actually really interesting because we're still talking about stuff I don't normally talk about on this. Yeah, show. no, I love talking about um, psychology and like people and like brain and just you know i i think at the end of the day i've been in relationships where you know i've, I've gone and i've seen my significant other i've been happy to see them all day and i go home and you know i've had the perfect day this actually happened to me the other day you had went, perfect date yeah I, I went out to san diego i saw my family in the morning which i haven't seen for a year i went out on a hangout slash date with this guy it was the most amazing thing ever it was the most he's perfect and i'm sitting there while we're watching the sunset and i just get really sad and like i'm just like you know, this is like I'm getting sad in the most perfect place. Why do you think you got sad? It's because of the internal shit that I do with, you know, the back of my mind. Do you so. think it's like a? Because I'm trying to figure out what made, like, what about that made you sad? Is in like what triggered it? I like, think for I'm, me, I'm, not, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking like the conditioning, like the trauma. Yeah. I'm thinking like what in the moment were you depressed about? I like was that you didn't that this wasn't as exciting beautiful. as it could have been. I think it was because like the wind was going through i saw the sunset i was looking at this palm tree and i looked down and i saw this old couple like walking and it triggered me because it was an old white guy and a, and a young uh, like a old asian woman and that's my dad and my stepmom dead ass uh, oh okay well, that it triggered me that to, like i was just like oh you know like oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got me and then and then i see like other couples around me and you know when you go back to the oh what's the dating market like da, da, da. Yeah. i do born and you know people are always going to look at me a certain way or another however you want to see me for what i do and i sometimes i do get scared am i ever going to get a relationship because i've done porn but at the same time yeah i'm going to be either freaky on camera off camera 